uh, where shall we head to? We've got Tau Seti, mm. which looks like a, a some sort of... Oh, it's a pulsar. Oh, wow, that looks cool. It does, doesn't they, it? They're quite little worlds, and there's not many of them. I doubt there's a... You know, we've got less chance of something exciting happening. Pulsar's uh, a neutron star, isn't it? Yeah. So it's it's like a it's like a sort of similar to a black hole in that it's a very heavily a super dense, mm-hmm. um, super dense thing. But a, a pulsar is one that uh, rotates. Okay, it spins in okay. space. And so, it's, imagine this laser beam here coming mm. out. Right. Imagine Earth. It's like directly here. Yeah. And it's this this thing spinning around and around. And so it will appear to flash. Right, and so we've got when we're when we're looking at it, we're looking at the stars it's flashing. Yeah, and sometimes they're flashing, uh, like really quick, like mm. every second, and sometimes they're flashing like really really slowly, and so it depends on what it is. But it's yeah, what, like how quickly it's turning and stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. Man, it's weird that there's so many different kinds of star. It is crazy. I wonder if there's black holes. Oh, I bet there is. What's happening over here? Uh, oh, he's still um, special project. Oh, what's he finished? Ah, the he science was... officer Jonathan Archer's finished their expedition. Oh yeah, the spaceship graveyard. Studying the remains of these vessels advanced our research in certain fields by several years. A permanent science outpost in orbit would be a great boon. Amazing. Okay. Oh, let's check our research. Like, can we see the progress? We have. Oh, gone... man, look at the physics lab. It's nearly done. The, the physics lab, the engineering lab is done. Were these far away? Maybe they were. I feel like they were all a similar amount of time to start with. Man, we're going to have, like, double research going on pretty soon. Then we'll be, like, totally badass yeah. as heck. All right, Jonathan, resume your surveys of this of this system before the aliens come back. I think we probably want to start over here, but you could start there. It's fine. Man, he hasn't let us down yet, has Do he? Do whatever you want. So these are engineering stations. They mm-hmm. give us the old yellow cog research if we want to build on here. So this is... This looks like it could be a, a place... I'm not. I'm not sure how the, the multi- multipliers work. So, for example, if I build a science multiplier or an energy or a mining multiplier on mm. the planet here, yeah, um, will that buff all the ones in the system? I don't know. We'll have to. We'll look yeah, into we'll something like that. Because I mean, I, there's probably a big difference between a colony and an outpost. Yeah. Well, sort of my feeling is that often I want to think about making a colony somewhere mm. that's focused on a specific resource. Yeah. So, uh, oh, serious system. Yeah, we did that. Uh, so, for example, imagine over here uh, at Pentarum, if I find another couple of, um, of research ones, I've obviously, this is mining, but if, I, yeah. if there was a lot of research This here, is a whole dedicated colony yeah, for research. Yeah, I could make this sort of a research world. So there's three worlds here that, that that look two of them look colonizable if they're not horrible. Yeah. And they might be we still haven't researched. I mean, it's gonna be a while before we research we, yeah. colony ships. So we should be saving up so that when it's once we've researched it, we can just buy that colony ship like straight away. Ah, yeah, good thinking. Uh, okay, that's the mining station done. Jolly good. Oh, cool. That's solved our uh, money System problems. We were getting low on money. That's a power. So oh, hang on, that's not what I wanted at all. So I can build observation post. Hmm, I don't know what that does. Oh, hang on. Oh, this Neolithic planet has primitive no stuff. post. Ne- so, all oh, right. So you can observe like a, oh, an alien, man. like a like a Bronze Age alien species. Man, there were a few episodes in Star Trek where they did that. There were quite a few. I liked <laughs> yeah. them. Though I enjoyed those ones. Uh, let's. I think this is a moon actually. Ah, oh, yeah. So let's build a mining station. I'm just gonna keep building those ones I can. Yeah. Ah, Jonathan Arch just found an anomaly. Oh, man. What is it? There uh, is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. So what, space writing? Man, someone's carved... It's like crop circles, but in space. All right. Oh, God, what's the risk? What's, what might happen? I don't know. He's only got looking at it from space, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Then again, a Star Trek episode, there always has to be some risk. Yeah, I mean, you never know. There might be like a space whale just to, comes out of nowhere and like tries to mate with his ship or something. Like yeah. any old shit can happen in space. I really want to change this. Oh, I thought I did I change it. I thought you it. did change this as well. Yeah, because look, above his name, it is changed. But maybe it hasn't changed it. It's weird. It didn't change it. Oh, yeah. oh maybe that's the oh, fleet. Oh, that's the fleet name, right. I see. Okay, okay that makes sense. UNS. Oh, shh. <laughs> I, <'cause>... It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. Uh, oh, so we've got a an idle ship. The U- UNS Pioneer is idle. Ah, okay. So whenever you see that, just just I'll pause it. Cool. So we've just surveyed 
City, Tal Seti. Oh cool. my god. So much so engineering cool. everywhere, isn't there? There you go. As the story takes the radiation is only visible when point directly at the observer. A very precise interval of pulses, which is so exact it can be used to measure the passage of time with extreme accuracy. Wow. There you go. It's like a like a sort of um, super clock. Yeah, it's like, like a space atomic, clock. Atomic space clock. Uh, so we've got a barren world, barren world. The pulsar itself oh. we can use as a research. So we can build cool. a a space station observing a pulsar. That sounds like something a Doctor Who episode would be saying, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? Oh, that's cool. I really like how, like, there's so much stuff in space, but only a small amount of it is actually colonizable. Most of it is just for, like, resources and research and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So we haven't found anything in... Oh, no, did we find anything in Sirius? Uh, oh, yes, we nothing, did. Nothing major, but... Oh, there's, uh, there's uh, aliens. So... This world, well, yeah, we got, we're gonna have to decide which world we do, aren't we? I like Alpha Centauri. I think that looked. That there looked are cool. some aliens. Oh, it's like it's the squid oh, aliens. Oh, they're giant fungal. Oh, well, aren't they cool? They're three, three different space. They're the slugs. furries. Ah, look how cool their spaceships are. Man, they are definitely not furries. <laughs> they're giant space squid. Hang on, can do you I think I they're alive? Oh, they're like wow. living space monsters. Man, these look cool. I think I should have picked these guys. No, do you know what? We're going to become friends with them. Yeah. And then we're going to slave them all. Um, <laughs> wow. No, we're not. We're going to get them to join the Federation and get them to serve on oh, our crew. Oh, we'll unite the whole galaxy. Yeah, and then Kirk freedom. Will, Kirk, Jonathan Archer will kiss one. God damn it, Jonathan Archer. <laughs> and then he'll have to spend six months in quarantine oh. to make sure he hasn't got any space aids. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all kinds of space aids, but the doctors just cure it all. Yeah, just give him some gel. Gel. <laughs> yeah. So just rub rub this to the area three times a day. So he's scanning this thing on. Oh, the space writing. Where's oh yeah. The, let's see how the space writing goes. Man, I'm just loving exploring our our neighbourhood. It seems like the home planet. Just getting on with it. Mm. Um. Once we get a good supply of mining minerals in, we'll start building buildings. Someone used a mining Someone laser. Someone used a mining laser to carve a large. Do you reckon it says like I love uh, <laughs> yeah. Tony C or G- something? Gorgax for Lenthron <laughs> forever. Gorgax for Lenthron <laughs> forever. Yes, forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be so good. It's supposed to be a short story chronicling the life of an alien mercenary. Man, I want to read that story. Why like, would you Gorgax and his fantabulous adventures in space? Maybe it's like, oh, God, crap. what a fucking thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Carve your fucking like, name into a place. It's like man. something out of Futurama, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you just think you've had such an amazing life. You need to tell the world, literally. Oh, wow. So what does that mean? We have to set up something there to like study his story and we'll get some... I like, think it just gives science. That's the point. Right. So I think what happens is is he studied it and it unlocks science on here. Right. So, okay. So we've improved this planet by surveying it. Ah, Okay. Ah, oh, cool. So we can build the engineering lab. So there you go. So, oh, engineering lab. Where do we build that then? Do we have to physically build it on Earth? Or does it just mean we can recruit another researcher now? I don't know. Okay, so do we want mining network two? Uh, mining networks extract crucial minerals from the planet's crust. It looks like an improved version. Mm, this is only the planetary ones, though, not the ones we've got on all the asteroids. It's true; and stuff. they seem bad. But then, in the old, or two alternatives are Both missiles military. or yeah. army damage. I don't think I don't, we're going to need. It's too early on for military stuff, isn't it? Yeah, if we see anyone alien-wise, we'll just run away or let them fight us at our home world for now. So let's go. It's also this is half the price. Look, that's four eighty. Yeah. By the way, yeah, let's so go with the, the drilling. Geothermal fracking. Let's get geothermal fracking. It sounds good. And so that research, I guess, maybe let us build something. So let's see if we can build something yeah. here. Um, Basic mm, science lab? Could we always build that? Yeah, we could always build all five of these. Okay, let's try and recruit another scientist. Maybe that's what it let us do. Uh, I don't think so, because there's not an extra box here, is there? See what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, click on researched, and then we can maybe look at what we've done. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, man, this game is pretty complete, isn't it, actually? God, I like it being this complete. <laughs> yeah. It feels... It's annoying, because coming from Lego Master of Ryan, it's, uh, it's it so, so alpha. Yeah, but you could see where the stuff was going to be, but it just wasn't there yet. Yeah. And it just made playing it, like, no fun, really. Um, Unlocked building. I was so hungry for space, though. Sorry, which one do we even uh, that, build? That top one. That's what we did. Engineering facilities are specialised institutions generating additional engineering research. 
Okay. So, so they're the we... same as science facilities, but they do an extra cog. Um, we can't build it though. Look, no. Is it an upgrade to a science lab? Do we have to have a science lab first, and or do we have to build it on something that gives you a cog? Oh, I see. It's maybe. upgrades. There are upgrades. Look. Ah. Power strip administration. Power plant. So we don't actually have. Well, it wouldn't hurt to build a science lab anyway. Shall we build a science lab here and, and then, we'll see if we can upgrade it? Yeah. Oh, it can be upgraded for more specialised functionality. Right. Right, so that's normally 111, but... And the other one is 112. Our research is 111. Is it 117? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Then again, it's only 60 minerals. It's not actually too bad. No. Uh, where do you want it? Do you want it, do you want uh, it on the one which has already got one, one minerals? Yeah, I yeah. I guess there's no point in building on an empty place, is there? You're just losing out. All right, let's, let's just go for it. Cool. Oh no, we'll suppress the collection of these resources. Oh, right, okay, no, no, on the open plane then, yeah. Fine. Building, that costs us 60, and it'll be done in 189 seconds. Cool. I do think we should save our money now, though, because um, I want to get that colony ship going ASAP. Yeah, but look, it's still like another 28 months to go. Oh, wow, I didn't realise it was so long. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's the time? I think it's one day a second, so a month is like 30 seconds. Okay. Uh... Shit. What was that? I don't know, but, but I think it's, <laughs> I didn't want her to run too far away before she started scanning it. Yeah. Where was it? Is it, is it this one? No. Must be the other science ship. Oh, where's she going? Tiamat. Oh, she's heading back to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. She, 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 she flew. I, as oh, soon as I get right. that, that pop-up doesn't pause, doesn't pause, pause the, the game. game. Right, no. I see, yeah. And, which is a bug. Or maybe something in the settings. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow, well, there's not well. many settings, is there? <laughs> okay. We're in Iron Man. I forgot we're in Iron Man. God, we're in Iron Man, Ben. Yeah. We're Iron Manning this. We're hardcore. This is our first game. <laughs> I didn't even really check what the settings were on the flipping start of uh, the. Oh, it's the best way to learn, though. You know, you just figure this stuff out as you go. I think. Well, I think. I think sometimes I don't want to fiddle too much with the defaults of the game. Mm. You know, because I, I want to play it as the developers intended me to play it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Play that that default thing and then adjust it once you've got some opinions. Ah, so we can also upgrade to physics lab. One. Oh, okay. Which mm. is the same, but one extra physics. So I guess we'll have to make a choice so on that. So that was sort of a bad choice. Yeah, I really. didn't realise that's what it does. That's okay. So we can upgrade Power Plant 2 or Beltharian Power Plant 2. Belthar Belth Beltharian Power Plants consume Beltharian Stone, which we obviously don't have. No. So I guess we need Beltharian Power Plants to do that. But Power Plant 2... Mm. Okay, that could be good. That's good for money. It's so good for cash. What does the sensors do? Uh, How faster surveying speed? That could be handy. We're doing a lot of surveying. It's true, but I think we might have to actually upgrade. Oh, uh, yeah. Do they have to return home for the upgrade? Is it actually faster sensor s surveying speed? Where does it say that? Uh, I just oh, survey speed plus fifteen yeah. percent, and also maybe it just does it. Maybe it just does it. Power hubs produce energy credits on their own, but importantly increase the overall energy output of the planet. Oh, one of those on the home world because we're making a lot of money on the home world. I mean, the home world has got two um, power plants on it. Yeah, and it's got the like a super thing like See, that's the, the a power HQ, plant. Ah. and that's a power plant. Right, so building one of those things would give us a big, big boost. Yeah, I mean, does this not got anything built on it? No, mm. it's just farming. She likes to farm. Okay. Oh I my mean, god, this... does each one of these population have different traits, or are they the same for everyone? No, that's just humans. Oh, I that's think. the human so traits. So human oh, okay, traits cool. are. Thank God. The you leaders don't have to game micromanage experience. all your pop. They're, they're slower to migrate. I guess if you drag them to another tile, they have to migrate, yeah. which takes time. Um, this is our preference. So we prefer right. continental planets. Yeah, we don't like it in the Arctic. Makes uh, sense. Okay, cool. Well, this is, look, I think, I think, yeah, all right, let's just do some. What was the other option? I think surveys. Let's get the survey speed because do you know what? We're still going to be surveying a lot. Yeah, in the we've got game. a lot of surveying to do. Yeah. I think that I think that surveying is going to be a big a big job. Um, um, I mean, I'm I'm going on a lot of missions, which I feel like maybe I should not be doing. Well, what else are these guys going to be doing? Um, well, I don't know actually. Do you know what? Yeah, maybe I don't. I want to I, find out more about this ancient civilization that got poxed to death. Oh yeah, so we've still got this here. Uh, so this is when we discovered those artifacts on Juno. Yeah, so like this mysterious planet that 
we've never seen, but was like the asteroid belt. Erassian Earth? artifacts. So we need to discover six more Erassian artifacts. Ah. And if we can... Then we'll find out where their homeworld we'll find out where world the home world was. And then we'll get all the good Because I guess their homeworld wasn't on Juno. So as I was saying at the start of this... Oh my God, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> uh, it appears okay. that, Apparent that Tiamad Lib, an ancient Erassian colony... As we're talking about it. Yeah, has been victim of an extensive orb bombardment. Large craters are still vi- visible from space where the moon's major population centres were roughly 1.2 million years ago. A handful of survivors from the initial bombardment appear to have succumbed shortly afterwards to the Javaronian pox that was then ravaging most Eurasian worlds. Jesus, I don't hope they, this... They've hope had a rough time, haven't they? Isn't around. Situation log updated. Right, so... Um, ah, so, okay, we need somebody to with four sides uh, or higher, which I don't think we have No, yet. although I think Jonathan Archer might be nearly there. He level, He's levelling up a lot. He's, he's doing a lot of work, Jonathan Archer. Yeah, so he can come maybe back we later. Can, maybe we can bring him over later. So, do you reckon this is for the... Yeah, it looks like ego. So it looks yeah, like so it's telling that's us. That's our first artifact. So the first thing. So just to just to recap what happened, we assumed that the planet here uh, that was that was Juno. We assumed that Juno was part of a planet that got torn apart. Okay, mm. and that's why the civilization died. But that would have happened billions of years ago, or well, at yeah. least more than a million, like hundreds of millions of years ago. So in fact, what happened was these Erasians, they colonized. Juno, for some reason, rather than Earth. But maybe they'd call it Earth. But maybe they had like an outpost there or something. Yeah, maybe they, exactly. That, yeah, do you know what? That was it. They were watching. They maybe were watching they seeded us. Earth with like primitive life and yeah. they were watching it to yeah. see what happened. That's right. We are the descendants of them. We, yeah, we came like their from... weird little biology experiment. Well, then again, I think the time is off a little bit as well yeah, because I don't know when... we've been around for hundreds of millions of years. So anyway, just, we're not going <laughs> to worry about the timing too much. Uh, so they had a world here. We thought it got blown up by the thing, but no, it had a plague. And then they had another planet that was under attack here in Tau... Well, where was, was it, it actually? No. It was in Tiamat. So it, was, um, it was this one. Yeah. So it was under attack, but then... And it, then the survivors got plagued anyway. Oh, for God's sakes. So well, who were they at war with? I don't know. Who know, we'll find out. I mean, maybe that... Um, oh, no, we did find a spaceship graveyard, but that was only 5,000 years old, so that wouldn't have been them. That was a different different oh, fight. my gosh. Okay, so fleet order finished. They have built that. Cool. Okay, let's get the construction ship. Have I built everything uh, Saturn in Saturn needs oh, a money, money mine. I have a cash mine. And then, then my construction sh- ship is going to be idle. Okay, well, I think well, it's a good st- idea. We could start building stuff in uh, Alpha Centauri, making way for the colony ship. I don't think I can. Oh, do you have to have actually. a colony there to build? I can try. Give it a go. Yeah, I, I uh, have to, okay. I think. Let's just Very try. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I can't I can't build it there. I think I need to be... Oh, we don't have enough uh, money, that's Oh, why. maybe I can then. Yeah, we'll wait till he's done Saturn. Especially if it's in my region of influence. Maybe I can. All right, cool. I'll send him off in a minute. 